In this video, we'll configure user and document settings in ClickView 11. It's sometimes useful and necessary to be able to alter standard settings to more accurately reflect your preferences. You can change user preferences by going to the Settings menu and selecting the User Preferences menu item, or alternatively, pressing Control Alt U keyboard combination. Now, on the User Preferences dialog, you'll see more than a few items that you can change. Now, keep in mind, don't be overwhelmed by this. There are a lot of settings. They're just there for your options. You don't have to change anything. However, on the General tab, one of the things I like to change is in the most recently used files section. I only like to see four, at most, four files in my menu items of most recently used files because otherwise I find it gets too cluttered. Okay, and on the Start page, likewise, I think 32 is more than sufficient. The Save tab allows me to specify preferences related to saving files. And for this setting, I like to use backups. So I'll click on the Use Backup checkbox, and I'll select two for the number of instances. Now, what this does is basically saves two instances of the file I'm working on so that if I lose data or if there's a corrupt file, I have a backup that I can revert to. Okay, moving on, the Editor tab, you can change how text appears in Click View Editors. For now, we'll just leave those as is. The Design tab allows you to set specific design preferences. For example, command shortcuts for scripts and macros. For now, we'll leave those as is. On the Objects tab, you can set preferences associated with objects. We'll leave those alone for now. On the Font tab, you can set the font, its style, and size for your new documents. I'm happy with the way they are right now, so we won't change anything here. On the Export tab, you can specify how data is exported, including copying to the clipboard. For now, these preferences are fine. Under Printing, you can set the preferences for printing. Under the Mail tab, you can set preferences for sending email from within ClickView. Under the Locations tab, you can set the location of specific ClickView files. You don't need to change anything here. On the Security tab, you can actually ignore or bypass security measures that ClickView comes with to prevent hostile macros or scripts in ClickView documents. Again, we don't need to change anything, so we can just leave these as is. And finally, on the License tab, you can alter information related to licensing. For now, we don't have any changes to make here, so we'll close the User Preferences dialog and save our changes. Now, you can make changes to your document properties by going to the Settings menu and selecting Document Properties. Alternatively, you can press the Control-Alt-D keyboard combination. Now, on Document Properties, and you can see the document whose properties were changing in the title bar, you have even more items here that you can change than in the User Preferences. But again, don't be intimidated by this. None of this has to change. It's there for your options. However, on the general page for my document, I like to specify an author, so I'll just specify myself. And I find the neutral background color just a little blah, so I'll change that. So I click on the background color swatch under default sheet background. And in the color area dialog, I have a number of options. I'm just going to select a base fixed color. So I'll click on the base color swatch and I'll choose a new background color. I'll just click this color. Click OK. Click OK again. And if I click Apply, I see the new background is applied to my sheet and my document. OK. Now, the next thing is we're going to consider making changes to the fonts. So let's click the Font tab. Now, I like to change the default font 
for my documents, and that includes the list boxes, charts, and so on. As you can see, it's currently Tahoma, and it's an 8-point font. I'll make that a 9-point font, and I'll bold it, and then I'll click on Apply to Objects, and you can see that the changes were made immediately. Okay, and finally, on the Security tab, you can specify user privileges, and you can actually lock down your document by specifying a module password. For now, we'll just leave that as is, and we'll click OK. Okay, so in this video, we configured user and document settings in ClickView 11.